right, I had a friend of mine ask me about bike shorts, and although I started to compose a response to him via email, I thought, well, maybe there's a better way of doing this. Let's just shoot a quick video and kind of run through uh, cycling shorts from the heavy duty knickers all the way to the super lightweight uh, tri shorts. So let's get started here with knickers. What we have here with knickers are they're just basically regular pants cut short so that they hit at the calf. Uh, provides a fair deal of protection but it can be a little warm in summer months. Next up, we have traditional mountain bike baggies. Uh, just hits just past the knee, offers a great deal of protection, but you can see from this pair, there's no liner. So you'd have to wear something, if you wanted a little bit of protection for your uh, soft bits downstairs, uh, you'd wanna wear a liner with it, and they sell them uh, separately. Now, taking a look at the next pair, Here's another set of mountain bike baggies. These have a liner and there's a uh, chamois built in. And you can see that it's a, this one's a soft weight uh, pad that absorbs sweat and kind of cushions the blow a little bit when you're riding off road. Now transitioning from mountain bike over to road cycling, we have bibs. And bibs are essentially just cycling shorts with kind of an overall design. Uh, you know, what this does is basically it removes the elastic around the waist and helps keep your shorts from sliding down by hooking over your shoulders. So take out the top part and you're left with just your regular cycling shorts. And here we have a couple pair. And you can see from the outside they don't look too, too different here, a little contrast stitching. But on the inside is where it really counts. And this is where we talk about the chamois or the pad that's in there. On one hand we have the uh, Pearl Azumis and on the other we have a pair of uh, Segois here. And you can see from the two pads that this one's a fairly lightweight, uh, low density foam. This one is much thicker. It's a higher density foam. It tends to absorb hits a little bit better so as you're riding either on road or off road, and I actually prefer these for both, uh, it absorbs more of the impact. And finally, Let's take a look at one last pair. We're not gonna talk about skin suits or anything too exotic, but here's another pair that looks just like traditional cycling shorts, but these are for triathlons. And how you can tell, again, is with the pad. This thing is super thin. It doesn't hold moisture, so when you're doing a triathlon and you start out swimming, then you get on the bike, then you run, it doesn't hold the water from the swim, provides minimalist protection while on the bike, and it doesn't interfere when you're running. So we've talked about mountain bike baggies, we've talked about bib shorts, traditional cycling shorts, and triathlon shorts. There's a couple other variants such as skin suits, which are, you would probably see them in a cyclocross race or for a tri time trial, um, but that's pretty much the world of cycling shorts.